Hey friends, it's Nicole. You wanna go on a field trip? I sure do. Got some stuff in the back. I don't know if you can see, there it is, there it is. We're gonna go do a belly cast. So I have a client, her name's Valerie. She's due in two, uh, three, four weeks, and we're gonna go to her house, and we're gonna do a belly cast. So I thought I'd bring you along. Yay! It's safe to say that I'm not the best YouTuber yet. I barely got any footage while I was at their house doing the belly casting, but I have it here with me. I figured I'd show you, I'll, take, I'll show you a peek real quick. Do, 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 do. I'll show you more when we get back to the studio, but sorry. Next time, I promise, next belly cast, I will do a really great video. Maybe. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Hey, I'm back at the studio and I have the belly cast with me. Don't mind the studio in the back. I'm in the middle of uh, doing the washing, cleaning the floors. So, okay, here we go. Oh, it's a little soft there at the bottom. It's still drying, but there you go. There it is. That's Valerie's belly. So cute. All right, and then here's some strings that I I done. So with the strings, I just weave them in to a strip and then I put a strip over a strip. Push that down a little bit. It's still kind of wet. It's definitely drying still. So there are the strings. Hey guys, good morning. We're back at it. We're working on the belly cast. Have a little baby coming in in a few hours. So I just wanted to spend some time putting the um, last of the ribbon on the belly cast. So you'll remember that at the client's house, I put these two back ribbons on. Well, when it was all said and done, it didn't work out too well. So I want to put two more ribbons on the front here and tie them together. So when they hang on the wall, it'll actually hang on the wall properly. I think I'm going to do these two points. So right here and right here. I'll start with this side. All right, so the way that I do this is I take the ribbon and I have, uh-oh, I just got it wet, oh well. I have this little piece of plaster Paris, so it'll go through one hole. So through one hole out the other hole. These are pretty cut holes. And then what I'll do is I'll take it and I will just kind of fold it over the top half here. All right, so now that we have all that together, I'm just gonna dip it in the hot water. Get it all nice and gooey. All right, so now I have this little piece here, and I really don't want that to show. So I have um, a couple of pre-cut pieces, just a little smaller pieces, and we'll just go right over those. So now that should be super secure once it dries. I'm happy with that side. That looks really good. So the belly cast went really well. Uh, for my first time, I think I did pretty awesome. Um, moving forward, if any of my families would like to have a belly cast, just ask. It comes complimentary with my biggest package, but it's something you love. I love doing it. Let's get together. It takes about, uh, I think I arrived at their house at 11, and I think I was done out the door by 12.10. So hour 15 hour 10 minutes 
um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions or if you are venturing in to do your own belly cast and you are curious about the products I used or the supplies I had, just ask. I don't mind sharing. All right, newborn's coming in a few hours. I cannot wait to meet her. I will talk to you guys later. Good morning, back at it with the belly cast. Last time you guys saw I was adding the strings to the top right here just to give her a little bit more support. And today we will be going ahead and sanding the belly cast using a 220 fine grit sandpaper. And then after sanding the belly cast, I'll go through with uh, acrylic gesso paint and that'll just help make the belly cast a little stronger. And if the parents wanna go ahead and paint it once they get it home, they're more than welcome to. All right, so let's go head out back and we'll get this thing sanded. So what I'm doing is I'm just going through and getting the raised bumps. And the 220 is a really good grit for this. Okay, so we're back in from sanding outside. I am going to go ahead and put a nice thick layer of the acrylic gesso paint on this and then we'll let it dry for probably about two days. Hey, so it's been a few weeks. Never finished the belly cast video. I thought I would just kind of catch you up so um, we had the belly cast made. I hung on to it until the baby was born. Baby was born about a week ago. She's coming in today. I'm expecting them any moment. We'll use the belly cast as a prop today and then they get to take it home. I think they're going to end up painting it um, with their two other children, but we'll see. Um, so let me show you the belly cast, show you what I have inside. So here it is. And then I just put this little blanket on the inside. And then I like with the blanket, I like with the blanket, yeah, I said that right, <laughs> that I can put little towels in there and just if I need to like prop her head up or prop her little booty up or anything like that. I'm thinking we're gonna do naked. We'll see when she's pooped last. If she hasn't gone in a while, maybe not naked, but we'll see. I'm, I was just touching this because if this gets poop in it, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> If you guys have any questions about making the belly cast or the, the items that I used, where I got them from, that sort of thing, it was all really simple. So leave a comment down below and I won't mind sharing. <laughs> So that's it for the belly cast. I want to show you the photos from today. So here they are. If you guys have any questions or want to start a conversation, leave a comment down below. If you aren't a subscriber yet, I'd love to have you guys around. Please consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Bye.